So today we're gonna to be making some Christmas cards with the Cricut Joy. So you don't need much for this. You just need, I'm using some insert cards. You can also cut your own cards, but I'm using one that has this holographic in it. And then the rest of them, I'm using this one that has all these glittery inserts because I love the glitter. And then also some pens. I'm using some glitter gel pens and then also the regular pens and gel pens for this one. Okay, so this was actually just an extra card that I made because I was getting excited making a lot. So this is with the, the holographic one and with the marker. But first off, I'm gonna show you how to make this one. And this one we're just getting directly from one of the pre-made in Cricut Access. And I'm just gonna use my iPad and cut this out and show you how to do that one. And then we're gonna get into Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna show you how I made these ones. So both of these are nice and sparkly. This one I use the glitter gel pens and then um, the black gl glitter. But in this one I also had the Cricut Write A Sentiment. So we did one in black and then one in a glitter gel. So I'm just gonna show you how I designed this in Cricut Design Space. It's really quick and easy, and then show you how to have the Cricut Joy do that. Let's get started. Just pick one that's in Cricut Design Space ready to go. So if you just go and go to Cards, and then in type in Christmas, in there you will get a whole bunch that come up. Okay, let's do this tis the season card so when it pops up we are just going to go to make it and it's going to say material load mat and we are going to do on card mat what's already in there material size is set to the right one four and a quarter by five and a half and no mirror so everything is set up so we're just going to click continue i'm going to click my joy And then I'm gonna put, and I'm just gonna click insert card, card stock. I'm just gonna take my card and open it. And again, insert it so it's underneath that part and push it all the way over and just press it down. Okay, it tells me to load my black pen. So I'm gonna take this out, put in my pen and just hold this up and the cricket will grab it and so i'm just going to click go on here and let it go Okay, and you'll see it paused and tells me to change this. So I'm just gonna unload this and stick this back in and push go. Okay, so it's all done. So I'm gonna click unload and it's gonna come out. And we are gonna pull this off. Okay. And again, we can pick what color we wanna go in here. That red sparkly. I also have some, there is my fluorescent. Here's one that's shiny and fluorescent. Let's do gold. So I'm just gonna put that in here. Okay, there you go. 
Okay, so first let's design these in Cricut Design Space. So I'm just gonna show you how I did these real quick here. I'm just gonna move these ones out of the way. So Okay, can... so let's work on designing this card first. So what I'm gonna go into is I'm gonna click on images. So over here I have cards checked and then I typed in holidays because Christmas did not come up with all the ones. So right here you'll see is Be Merry. I'm gonna click on that one and then Let's see if we find the happy holidays. So here's the happy holidays here. Um, M1BB53955. Okay, so I'm going to click on this one also. So you'll see that they insert here. Okay, so they're already the size that you need for a four by five and a quarter card. So all I'm going to do is so I'm actually not going to do anything to this one. You can change like the color of the draw pin if you want, um, but you don't need to. You can stick any pin in there you want. Okay, and so the same thing for this Be Merry. It's the size that I want. I'm not going to do anything. And this says draw here. It has this yellow, which says not supported. So I actually need to come in and just actually change the pin type. So I'm just going to click on this so it's highlighted. Come up to the question mark. I'm actually going to do a glitter gel pin and we'll do gold. Okay, so you'll see that that goes away there. Okay, so these are how I want them. So I'm not going to do anything with that. Okay, so for this one, this actually was another file that I found in images. And this one I'm actually going to do phrases art type, draw only, and I don't even remember what it said. So you can go through and find one. It's kind of in, let's do Christmas. Was it May the Joy? close to that one okay here it is so m f b eight six seven c okay so i'm gonna click on that one okay so really i didn't do much to these at all so you're just gonna size that so that fits inside of a card and then you can change this to whatever pin you want here. Okay, and that is all you need to do for that card. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna insert a text box and say the wishing you and your, okay, and keep going. I'm not gonna write it all, but I'm gonna go up to filter and to writing and then just pick on any font you want. Okay, and then we're going to change this draw and change this to whatever pen we're going to use, the black one. Okay, so say you have something like that, and then we're going to insert another image here, and let's find something in here. You obviously don't have to do what I do. Let's say we'll pick this one here stick this in here and we're going to change this draw one to let's go to the glitter gel and to gold so then the joy will stop and tell me to insert these separately okay and then the last one we're going to insert here you can even do alignment Okay, so once you have what you want, you're gonna put a, use your cursor to make a square around everything. I'm gonna come up and align the center, and then I'm gonna come down to attach. Okay, so this is all attached and ready to go. I don't need to put anything behind it because it's I'm already gonna use a card on it. Okay, so just one quick thing when you go to actually cut these out. So when you go to make it, I'm gonna go to on card mat because I am using the card. So I'm going to select this one and it will put them all on different cards. So this one 
I'm going to change it to the four and a quarter by five and a half on card mat. And then this, since it doesn't center it, I mean, it's pretty center because it's wide, but I'm actually just going to move it down just a little bit so it's more centered on my card. So the red outline is actually the edge of the card. So I'm just going to move it just a little bit. So I'm going to do that with all of these. So this one, actually, I'm going to rotate it because it's a horizontal card that I have it on. So I'm just going to eyeball it and stick it in the middle there. And these are already in that four and a quarter. I just want to make sure all of these say the four and a quarter. So you'll see it's about that size. For some reason, this one says it's four and a half by six and a quarter, and it doesn't let me switch it, but it's actually a four and a quarter by five and a half. I don't know why it does that, but um, it worked perfectly fine. Okay, so then when we go to continue, we're just going to follow all the prompts on Cricut Design Space and cut these out. Okay, so Cricut Design Space is first time to insert a pen, and then I am going to put the inside of the card underneath the screen here and press the front side down. And then I just hold it up and the Cricut grabs it and it is going to write the inside of the card. It is doing the black pen first. And then it pauses and it tells me to insert my gold pen and I always scribble a little bit to make sure the pen is flowing. And then it's just gonna write the rest of the card. Okay, so now Design Space is telling me to unload my mat, so I'm just gonna click that on there and bring this out. I'm gonna take this one off and let it dry, and I'm gonna make the second one. So again, I'm going to, we're doing the writing on the inside of the card, so I'm actually gonna fold the card. So the inside is on top. And with the cards, really doesn't matter much. They're not much different from the front to the back. I'm gonna place this on here. I'm gonna choose insert cardstock, and then it's telling me to load my black pen again. So again, I always kind of just scribble on something to make sure that pen is flowing there. And then we just insert it. And then I'm going to click the go on my laptop and let it write. I'm going to put this one back in and this time we're going to cut out the front part of it. So I'm going to put this underneath that mat there and push it all the way up and then fold this over. Okay, and so it's telling me to load my <clears throat> so telling me to load my gold pen back. So I'm gonna put that pen back in. Okay, and then again push go on my laptop. So now it's telling me to remove my pen and insert the blade. So I'm just going to take this out. Insert that and click go. Okay, so now it's all done and I'm getting the unload. So I'm going to click that on my machine. And so now I'm just going to peel this up. Okay, and pull that out. And scrape this off. And so whatever didn't pull out. 
gonna pull it off the back side. I think I've been using my joy a little bit too much. I think it's time to change the blade on here. Okay, I'm actually just gonna sharpen it a little bit with some foil. Okay, and we're gonna do our second one. So I'm just gonna do the same thing and follow everything on, on my screen and we'll cut this one out. Okay, so now we're just going to decide what color to put in. So I got this pack of cards that I'm using. It has the gold, the red, and the black. I think it may be the red. So we're just going to stick that in there. This one, I do maybe black or or the red. Hard to tell; they both look great. So, I'm just gonna put. And load it into the corners. Okay, shiny card, and then when you open it, has the sentiment in it. 